checkout is at 10 o'clock and it's 9 o'clock now. <laughs> oh no. We should really get up now. Oh. But it's so comfortable. Oh. I don't want to get up. One nap later. Look at this beautiful barn conversion thing we stayed in last night. It's got that country feel. Look, there's a pig on the wall. But it was a short time in the Czech Republic because today we're heading back into Germany. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we are heading north following this road here to reach the city of Halle. Good morning, Bumblebee. Today we're heading to a nice little city called Halle, but then in brackets it says Sala. Zala. Halle, Zala. Yeah. I think they couldn't decide on the name, so they gave them two names. And it looks like a really charming town actually, um, but mostly we're going there because there is Germany's oldest chocolate factory there and I'm really excited to check that out. I know you like chocolate, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Some fuel for the road. Guys, you know what we have for breakfast? Pizza! Mm. It looks a bit better yesterday. For me, it looks still absolutely delicious. What are you doing there? <laughs> Just uh, casually putting a bin bag on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold and it's probably rainy today, so I just try to protect myself as much as I can from the elements. The elements! Cold? Got all my layers on. Okay. Oh yeah, another day in paradise. <laughs> look how nice this place is though. Very rustic and look, looks like there's eyes in the roof. Yes, <laughs> the roof is watching you. And also there's actually a pool in the middle of this bit here. They put so much effort in this place and they did it really, really, really well. Yeah, we actually asked the owner for a second night. We were like, oh, can we stay another day? But he said the room was booked already. <laughs> Yeah, really sad, really sad. Yeah, so we were forced to hit the road this morning. Gonna see if we can get the bike started. Oh, yep. No, we can't. What? No, it's dead. No way. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it's dead. Let me try again. No, unfortunately, it's dead. Absolutely zero charge on it, look. Not even enough to... nothing. That's so funny because we actually had it charged up, eh? Yeah. We had it charged up just in Munich. You know what, that's really, really, really annoying. I think before we get back, we might actually have to get a new battery in there. I don't know. This is already the third or fourth time that we're going to have to jump start it. <sighs> Crazy, no? I mean, we literally had it fully charged up. So we're going to have to ask the owner. I'll start to open the bike and uh, maybe you can see if you can find somebody. Five minutes later. So we just opened everything up and the owner came over to connect it all up to a charger. And then I was like, oh, these screws screwing into the battery are a little bit loose. So I tightened them up and it's working. <laughs> this one was loose. Yeah. All right. Round number two. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, here comes the guard dog. Yep. Hello. Hello. Doggy woggy here. Wow, I'm so hot at the moment, but I'm wearing everything I own. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like an onion. I feel like an onion. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's really cool. Um, the ride is not too long today. Google Map says it will take us three hours and 20 minutes. It's already 11 o'clock. So better hit the road. Let's go. It's not 11 o'clock. It's not? It's 10.30. You make people think we're lazy. Oh, sorry, sweetie. And it's already 7 a.m. <laughs> So this is the town of Haslov and this is where we went for dinner last night and had a really really nice goulash and pizza that then became breakfast as well. <laughs> Cute little town here hey? Yeah it's not a big portion in the Czech Republic but at least I get to see a little bit of the Czech Republic. Yeah. Look at this nice. old church. So we've got to find some fuel before we leave Czech Republic because it's literally 20 cents per litre cheaper here than it is over the border in Germany. I think here I saw some places that were as cheap as 1 euro 60. Oh look at this, it's a pine martin. Oh. Is it? Or what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a fox. Oh! Wow. wow! Beautiful! Wow! That's amazing! So in Austria we saw some deer, in Germany we saw some deer, yeah. and here in Czech Republic we saw a fox. That's cool, hey? That is nice. A pleasant road, hey? Yeah, beautiful a road, road, beautiful wildflowers here, look at this. Wow! Yeah, it's a beautiful cold morning in the Czech Republic. <laughs> oh, look, there are some petrol stations now. You can see them on your map as well. Just here? Oh, yeah. Uh, super? No uh -huh. way. 149. That can't be real. No way. Here it says uh, 149. If you pay in euro. Ah, so it's this price if you pay in euro. 149. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. It was 180 something when we were in Germany. Well, it seems to start all right still. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Okay, awesome. Awesome. We've got some cheap Czech fuel and really cheap as well. So now it's time to go to Germany. Let's go back to my home country. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, welcome to Germany. <laughs> welcome to Germany. That's it, the end of our Czech Republic adventure. Back in the homeland, hey? Yeah, it's so nice if you live so close to a different country. <laughs> I think that's really cool. Every time you're like, oh, we're going abroad for the holidays. Yes, and exactly. You just, you just drive over there. Here yeah. we go, back in the Bundesrepublik. <laughs> cool. So what is this? What are we having for lunch? So for all of you who don't know about it, in Germany we have something it calls an imbiss and it's like something really small like this, like a mini restaurant where you can just stop and eat something and it's really cool because they have currywurst and pommes and currywurst is like a sausage with some curry uh, ketchup actually and some curry powder on top which is really common here in Germany and I really like it and pommes, fries. So currywurst and pommes. I'm excited about it, that sounds great. Me too. <laughs> let's do it. Currywurst mit pommes. Okay, let's give it a go. Hello. 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 Look at that! <laughs> That's a plate and a half, isn't it? <laughs> wow! Nice. 
Look, we have a little bit white um, crowd. I don't know, like uh, white cabbage, a white cabbage, a little bit of uh, vegetables, <laughs> and then a massive amount of chips. <laughs> Good appetite. Good appetite. Mm. So tasty. This is my first ever currywurst. <laughs> yep. Mm. Mm. Very good. That's my first currywurst for six, seven years. Mm-hmm. Well, I am stuffed full of currywurst. <laughs> we had to take away the chips couldn't even eat it all no. and it's still not raining which is amazing we have another one hour 45 to ride to get to Halle Salle Halle Salle can I call it Halle Salle okay yeah we can still hope that we can get there dry 15 minutes later oh no we got some rain that's not fair hey is it so we were doing so well today I don't know if I can be bothered to put on my jacket <laughs> or if I'm just gonna hope that it stops it's super light at the moment it's just a little bit of a trickle yeah so I don't know maybe I just wait a minute yeah see if it stops but looking around it doesn't really look better anywhere no blue skies today no 12 seconds later so I'm gonna have to accept defeat and put my rain clothes on I think we had too much pizza and pasta in Italy. <laughs> Somebody got a fat bump, eh? I'll tell you what, I hope they sell a hot chocolate when we get there. We have arrived in Halle and der Saale <laughs> <laughs> and we've routed directly to this chocolate factory the oldest chocolate factory in Germany but the ride is not very nice no nope. but apparently the chocolate factory is just around the corner oh cool <laughs> <laughs> at least it hasn't like rained crazy crazy hard it's just That's been true. like a little bit like trickling the whole day yeah but anyway, we have finished our ride for the day pretty much. 116 miles. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It should be... Oh yeah, just here, I think. Where? This place? Ah, this place. Yeah. Okay. Halloran, nice. From 1804. There you go. Oh, oh the, no. Um, yeah, the battery stopped. No way. What? Why again? I don't know. It's just gone off. Maybe it's undone itself again. Oh. I might have to just open it up and see. Okay. Yeah, I, there's nothing at all. Like, no, nothing. It's totally dead. Oh, no. Bumblebee, what are you doing to us? The only thing I can do is uh, take these off and then try to screw it a bit tighter and see if it changes anything. I have no idea. Let me try and do it a little bit tighter. Every time I have to take the bloomin both parts of the seat off, don't I? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye, Bumblebee. We have a really nice car here. Oh, look at that. Cool. Oh, look at the number plate. Hello, and. Eins. What does Halloran mean? I think it's a surname, but we will find out more in a little bit. Yeah. What does this say on the side of the car? I need sweet. <laughs> nice. Chocolate! <laughs> the museum is over there. Okay. Should we go to the museum first? We get free chocolate with our tickets. 
We found Tikal. This is a really nice chocolate pyramid created by the ancient architects in Mexico. So it says here that the scientific name for cow cow is Theobroma, which means the food of the gods. Because the belief of Mesoamerican Indians was that cow cow was actually originally owned by the gods. So the first evidence of the use of cow cow actually comes from Puerto Escondida in Honduras. They found evidence of cow cow from pottery from 1150 BC. The civilizations of Mesoamerica worshipped the cow cow tree and it was a drink drunk by the nobility, the kings, it was used as medicine as well as in rituals. I would say they were cow cow addicted. They were cow cow crazy. <laughs> That's super interesting, I had no idea, but the word chocolate actually comes from the Nahuatl native language. The native word is chocolatl, from the Nahuatl, choco, chocolatl. So it says here that the roots of the Haloran chocolate factory lie in a confectionery founded by Friedrich August Mieter. How did I say that? Not bad. On the 1st of April in 1804, Friedrich David took over the shop in 1851 and the David family actually managed this place for three generations. So this is Friedrich David. That's him. Look at him. He was a sweet man. <laughs> With some sweet sideburns. <laughs> it says here that um, milk chocolate didn't actually come into the market until 1879 and that was introduced in Switzerland by a man called Daniel Peter. It's a lint bunny. This is like an original lint bunny mold. How cool is that? Apparently Rodolf Lint, the founder of Lint, actually invented this mechanical um, mixer and that mixer meant that chocolate could be almost mass produced mechanically so it allowed the masses to eat chocolate. So chocolate became less of a luxury product and something that could be enjoyed by everyone. Thank you Mr. Lind. Wow, look at the size of this chocolate bunny. Here's the mold that it's made from. This chocolate cake was actually made in 1913. Nobody remembers the special occasion for what it was made for, but it's still here a hundred years later. This is a hundred year old chocolate cake. I would so love to have a bite of that, just to see like if you can still eat it or what is going on. After lots of difficulties over the years, this company was nearly going bankrupt, but it was then bought by a guy called Paul Morzinski in 1992, and he invested a lot of money in the company, 20 million Deutschmark, and brought the company back to life so that we can be here today. Good job. This is the signature product of the Haloran company, the Kugel, and it's basically just a, like a ball. And apparently during the high season, up to 16 tons of Kugel are produced every day here. And about 130 million individual Kugels are produced every year. Guys, this is the craziest thing in the whole museum. All of the furniture and all of these pieces in this room are all made of chocolate. Even the picture frames are made of chocolate. How crazy is that? I've never seen anything like this in my life. And you can even smell the chocolate. Like it just smells like immensely of chocolate in this room. Can we not go and eat some chocolate? Yeah, I think it's time for us to eat some chocolate. Thank you. So what chocolate did you buy? The classic Haloren Kugel. Times three. Times three. <laughs> and then the friendly lady at the counter gave us a fourth one. Woohoo! 
Yes, she's like, oh, here's some for free for you. And this is cheesecake. Amazing. Thank you. Poor Bumblebee. It's looking really terrible outside. So we decided to get a couple of hot chocolates. And even with this hot chocolate, we got some free chocolate. No way. <laughs> It's gonna be a big chocolate party now. Time to taste what Halloran is all about. Mm. Oh, you put it away. So it's still raining. So we've booked a hotel, which is about four miles down the road, about 10 minutes. So we're gonna head there now as fast as we can. Good evening guys, we made it, happy life. <laughs> Good evening guys, we made it. Happy life. <laughs> happy, alive and very, very tired. I'm so tired. Oh. I think it's the atmosphere. It's the clouds and the rain and it's like a, a drab gray day. I didn't really even want to get out of bed this morning. It's like a typical stay in bed day, you know? Mm. Like you don't want to go anywhere. You just want to rest and chill and watch some TV or something, you know? <laughs> or ride four hours on a motorcycle and then tour a chocolate factory. <laughs> well, anyway, it was really nice to eat some chocolate. So I'm happy about that. We ate already one package. I think it's time for a second one. That's dinner sorted. <laughs> Well, we will just have a good rest now and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.